welcome my name is Lisa Bassini and I'm the baking coach today we are going to make apple pies on a stick in this bowl we have some flour and some salt okay and I'm going to add to that one stick of butter that I've already broken up into little pieces and we're going to pinch the butter into the flour and until the flour starts to turn slightly yellow. So it's gonna go from a bright white to a slight yellow. I'm only using my fingertips because you don't wanna pre-melt this butter. That's why you always use ice cold butter in making pie dough. Now, what I'm going to do, is I'm gonna show you my glove. If you look at my hand, I'm not using the palm of my hand at all, just my fingertips. So I'm gonna to add to this four tablespoons of ice cold water. This is the second time I've made this dough today, so I know for sure I need the full four. I'm gonna use my hand. Now I'm gonna use my whole hand and just gather this dough together. One of the other things that you can use, in, instead of ice cold water, you can also use orange juice because it's always cold. So I'm gonna squeeze this together. I've got some pie dough. And it's nice to see some still some little chunks of butter in your pie dough. And I still see a couple chunks. And there we go. You're gonna wrap this in plastic wrap and then set it in the fridge for at least an hour. If you want a shortcut, then you can set this in the freezer for like 20 minutes, a half hour, like do like 15, flip it over and then do another 15 and that speeds the process up a little bit. So okay. let's just say I didn't have my apples all peeled and diced like I do now. I would do this while my dough was chilling. I'm gonna add to that the filling mixture, which is some cinnamon, a little bit of flour and some sugar. And I'm gonna just stir this up to coat the apples. There we go. Now, and I'm going to take my dough, probably break it in half to make it a little easier to roll. I'm gonna need some extra flour to do that. I'm also gonna need a rolling pin and some popsicle sticks or you could use ordinary craft sticks too. Okay. Gonna roll out my dough in between a quarter and an eighth of an inch. Not too thin, not too thick. Now, you could either use cookie cutters for this project or I use an ordinary glass. Cut out some circles. Okay. Now, one of the other things you need to make is you need to take one egg, about a teaspoon or so of water. You wanna scramble up that egg to make some egg wash. And here I have some egg wash. I have my disc of dough. I'm gonna brush it a little bit with my egg wash. Then I'm gonna take my stick and I'm gonna place it just about a little bit more than halfway, but you're gonna leave about an inch from the top of your dough, okay? And cover the stick with filling in the center, leaving about a half inch all the way around of the dough so we get a nice tight seal. Let me add in. It's very important that you cut your apples up super small, because then you can get more filling in your pies on a stick. Now, I've got my second piece of dough. I'm gonna roll it slightly larger than my first piece, trying to keep the shape. You could use cookie cutters for this or an ordinary glass, it doesn't matter. Now I'm going to cover it, pinching this together. Great. Transfer this onto my baking sheet. This recipe will make six, seven pies. 
Okay, so now we have our pies on a stick onto a cookie sheet lined with parchment paper. I'm gonna press one, two, three. One, two, three. You could also get a little fancy if you want. Using your fork, going all the way around. To give it more of that pie look. There we go. And you wanna give it one final brush of egg wash. And then bake these in the oven. So when you get to like your, after you make about five of these, then turn your oven up to 400 degrees. And then these will bake for at least 20 minutes or until golden brown. Pie pop, just like that. To finish off your pie pops, we have here a half a cup of confectionery sugar with just one tablespoon of water. So I'm gonna just drizzle over that some sugar glaze. I'm gonna let that dry and I'm just gonna lift this so you guys can see it. And that is your finished apple pie pop. Another thing you can do with this is you can take your, I'm just gonna pop a glove on real quick. As you can just put some on and then just give it a light coat of, of the sugar glaze as well. There you go. Thanks so much for tuning in. Enjoy your apple pie on a stick.